Hello YouTube, what's going on? This is Dombey Blue and this is going to be a ground war domination on Village where I'm going to go 55-2. to two. I'm using the Assault Streaks, Predator Missile, Reaper and the Pavlo and the ACR with some sexy blue on it. And uh, the first thing you may notice is that I've changed the colour correction from nothing to something. Uh, I literally typed in on YouTube Modern Warfare 3 CC tutorial and clicked the first one and did what it said. So I don't know if it looks good. I think it's a little bit bright in s when um, I'm in some places of the map. But apart from that, maybe uh, maybe it looks good. You're the guys who are watching, so you'll have to tell me in the comments whether you think it looks better than normal or um, actually link me to a good tutorial because I'm not really the best at messing around with Sony Vegas stuff. But anyway, this commentary is going to be about um, what I think they should do to improve Infection. They put Infection in, it was always a private match game type. They actually made it a legitimate, can earn points, um, community playlist, like Drop Zone. As you know, they did this quite a while ago. And when on, the, I played it quite a bit for the first day. And they only had like Striker vs Jug, Striker vs Knife, and um, them. And then they added like the perks, they had the specialist package, they put the PP90s in, the Type 95 in. Which is a nice step, but I don't think they've thought through some of the things that they've got. Now, the throwing knives, people are going to disagree with me here. Throwing knives are a little bit annoying for me, and I know they mean that people can't go in their jump glitches. My solution for the throwing knives is to make it so the survivors, the people with weapons, won't be able to jump or climb, but you can't have throw the zombies cannot have throwing knives, they just have to knife you normally. I think this would be better because um, I don't like getting thrown knife. I think the tr as <laughs> we were joking about this in a lobby, zombies do not throw shit at you and then you're infected. Do you know what I'm saying? Because this is supposed to be a zombie scenario. I know it's supposed to just be a game and all that shit. But if there was a zombie outbreak, they're not throwing chairs at me and then I'm a zombie, am I? I might get knocked over the head, but I'm not a zombie. Um, and the only way I'm going to get infected is if they if they bite me, and in this case, if they knife me. I think that's maybe been a little bit picky, but if you weren't able to climb, if you weren't able to jump, if you could only run around, um, then I think it would be all right. And you know, they just have knives, no throwing knives, because I don't go in the little spots where I can go up there, but they can't reach me because I'm in a glitch. I go to places. Oh, well, sometimes I'll just walk around the map and I'll get thrown knife, you know, and I don't think that's fun. I don't think that's the infected um, infection experience that I want to be playing. Uh, next thing is Type 95, PP90, you're a little bit OP. I've been playing a lot of matches, especially with them game modes and with the Juggernaut suits. I don't really like the Juggernaut suits on Dome, they're a little bit ridiculous. But I'll play matches where, because the game mode's only 5 minutes long, and by the end of the match, the match will finish, and the survivors still have 15 people, and they only have 3. And this because a lot of people group together, and when a lot of people are grouped together, if they're in a spot where it's hard for them to get throwing knifed, that means that they're going to survive a long time when there's not that many people, you know, and there's one guy, two guys, three guys running at them, instead of... Towards the end of the match, when there's ten guys, that one, that them ten guys are gonna eventually get a kill. That's it's just how it works. But when there's just two or three guys, the game's really slow and boring. Now, either they need to change the weapons by putting weaker submachine guns and assault rifles being used. I found it strange how they made the PP90 and the Type 95 the choice. I mean, they could have made it. Well, all the assault rifles are usable. They could have made it the MP, uh, the PM9, for example, or the PM. Is it the PM7? I think it's the PM7 and the MP9. I think that's the way it goes. But, um, you know, a submachine gun that's not so useful or an assault rifle that's not as good. Or they could nerf the guns also because at the moment it's a little bit ridiculous in terms of the survivors seem to always win now. When I first played it, the zombies would always win. But it seems to have switched up even with the throwing knife being in use. Um, also, I think that the Moab should be there. I like the fact that the Moab's there, but when they give you all the perks, that makes you a little bit, a little bit too good as well, because it gives you the speed boost and it makes you almost as fast as a zombie to a point where you can actually almost run away from them. I don't think you should be able to run away from zombies. They should definitely be faster than you. Even though, like I say, if we're going to talk about real life, I don't think zombies in real life are that much faster than me. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and also. Um, I think they need to make it, my final solution to, to the problem is to make it so when they actually randomly pick one of the 18 people to be a zombie, they don't pick one, they pick three. That would also, that would speed the game up because 
the first person gets to actually use a weapon. So say you're in a PP90 uh, lobby. That first person will have a PP90 for one kill. I want to make it so then three people will have PP90s for the first kill each. So that will be three kills of PP90. That will mean there are six zombies that then have to knife you. That would speed up the game so much. It really... It, Honestly, if they if they put that in, the games would be fast. They'd be finishing in two or three minutes. Because, let's face it, when you're playing Infected, you don't give two shits and a fuck about when they've got three people on their team. I've sat there in lobbies and been like, guys, can we just can you just kill yourself and go on the other team? Because this is boring. I want to... Well, I play Infected so that I can look down a hallway and shoot at ten people. That's what I play it for. But anyway, guys, uh, the final score is 55-2. Hope you did enjoy this video. Um, this has been Dombey Blue, as I'm sure you know, like this far in. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy it, leave a like, and I'll see you later, guys. Peace!